All right, I'm looking at this document that I will post. I don't think I, I made copies of it. Did I hand them out already? Oh, wait a minute, here, this is your copy. This is your copy. Okay, so you all should be reading this online too at this point. It says, you have an order for c -chlor, or Cephachlor, 20 milligrams per kilogram per day in three divided doses. The child weighs 20 pounds. How much will you give in each dose? Here, everybody, time to read that again. Who would, who wants to guess at what the first piece of information we need is? There's a couple different answers we gotta get before we get to our final one for this. Um, why micrograms? I don't see micrograms anywhere in this question. Or MG. 20 milligrams per kilogram? Well? Because ain't we splitting that one, that one? You're, you're given 20 milligrams per kilogram. So, and the, they give you the child's weight in pounds though. So you need to convert pounds to kilogram. Yeah. Well, guess how easy that is. For every one pound, there's 2.2 kilograms. So you take 20 pounds and you divide it by 2.2. Yeah, 20 divided by 2.2. So this child weighs 9.09 .09 kilograms. There's our first piece of information. Now the order was for 20 milligrams, am I right? Mm -hmm. Per kilogram per day, but I only wanna worry about this right here. And I found out this, this number. So what's the next step? If they're supposed to get 20 milligrams for every kilogram that they weigh, that means I'm gonna take 20 and multiply it times whatever I figured out was for kilograms. So 20 divided by... No, times. This is per, which is times. Those slashes, you gotta understand what they mean. It's for every, every kilogram this child weighs, you need to give 20 milligrams. So okay. So 181.8 milligrams in what? One day. It's the whole dose they're supposed to receive for the whole day. But if you look at those, those words that came out after us in three divided doses. Okay. So the slash line here would be the per kilogram? Mm hmm Okay. Now, Melissa, what's the last step I need to do here? Look at your problem. It says you have an order for c chlor blah, 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 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. We've got that done in three divided doses. What does that mean, three divided doses? What do we need to do this final number? They're going to, there you go. There's your answer. And I know that because it says, how much will you give in each dose at the end of the problem? It might say, how much will you give in a 24 hour period? Well, I would give 181.8. And when you're doing this, you'll learn, oh, if I give a medicine um, uh, three times uh, daily, PO, well, if I take 24 hours in a day divided by three, that's eight hours. Every eight hours, they're gonna get a dose. If it's four times a day, 24 divided by four equals what? Six. So they're gonna get the dose six times a day or twice a day, every 12 hours. Don't worry about this. 
This is natural stuff you know. You don't have to worry about more math here. You've already got this math down because you know how many hours are in a day. So the key is reading the question in one dose, not a 24 hour period. Okay. Who's confused, lost, doesn't know how I got to these numbers? I'm going to go through the same information we just talked about one more time. Now that you've seen it worked out, let's work it out like we would if we knew what we were doing. Okay? Just, uh, just so you can see what it looks like to, to know how to do these problems. All right? All right, you have an order for C-Chlor, 20 milligrams. I'm going to write it out. 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. Uh, and three divided doses, blah, blah, blah. Child weighs 20 pounds. How much we'll give in each dose? Okay. I, I know in my mind the first thing I need to do is say, this child weighs 20 pounds. How much is that in kilograms? I'm going to take 20 divided by 2.2. I'm going to get 9.09 .09 kilograms. And I'm going to write my thing so I know what numbers I'm writing out here. All right. Let's plug that into the second step. 20 milligrams times 9.09 .09 kilograms uh, per day. And I'm looking at my question again. So I figured out how much they weigh. And the other question is, how much will I give in each dose? Well, I need to know how much is given in a day. So I take 20. I'm sorry, in, in a whole day, 20 times 9.09. .09. I got 181.8 milligrams in a day. And it says three divided doses, so I take 181.8 and I divide that by three and I get 60.6 .6 milligrams. This is probably the third, third level of difficulty that you will encounter. You probably won't see anything more difficult than this on an NCC test. I, I really, I know you won't. Uh, I've never had a student come back and tell me they've had to do anything to this extent. But that don't mean you're gonna, you gotta still get through some hurdles before you can go take that test, okay? So don't, don't, don't let me, by telling you that, don't let me put you in a mindset of, oh, well, I don't really wanna know this or need to know this. You still gotta know it. <clears throat> But don't worry about, I don't want you going home feeling like, oh, now I got a whole nother mountain to get over before I can get to this test and get this over with. You don't. You're on the downslope. Okay? Let's do one more of these and then I'm going to quit. Let's read number two. The nurse practitioner orders solumedrol 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. I am. What does that mean? Good. So the child weighs 36 pounds. You have on hand a vial that reads 40 milligrams per ml. So I'm going to put my desire over half times quantity over here because I'm going to use that tool again right so I can plug in 40 milligrams in one ml I'm looking for this answer how many mls will you give is this an acceptable dose and how do you know lots of questions here What's the first thing I need to figure out before I can go any further? Hmm. What was the first thing we had to figure out in the last problem? We got to convert this to kilograms. Okay, so let's divide that by 2.2. Somebody do that for me. 36 divided by 2 is. 17, so probably 17 point, 
zero nine. Okay, sixteen point three kilograms. That's how much the child weighs. Now, this order was it like give them some pills, tell them to take it three times a day, or was it give a shot right now or something? It's I am. It's draw this up, stick it in this child one time right now, yeah. period, and you're done. So you have to go pick up a vial and draw a vial, a, a syringe up, know how much to put in the syringe one time. Okay, so this is all, this is it. You only need 16.3 kilograms, and you're supposed to give, for every kilogram, you're supposed to give 1.5 milligrams. So how many milligrams total are you going to be given, Melissa? Yeah, so for every kilogram, I'm supposed to give 1.5 milligrams. I know how many kilograms there are, so I need to take that and give them 1.5 for 16.3. So are, are we multiplying? We're multiplying. Okay. Yeah, that's, this means multiply. Mm -hmm. It's a little dot. So it'll be 24, 4, 4, 5, 6 No. Twenty-four point four five what kilograms or milligrams? Milligrams. There you go. You tracking me so far? All we all we've done so far is convert the child's weight to kilograms, and figure out the dose we need to give them one time. That's all we've done so far. Okay, I'll make some. Let me get a I'm confused. Twenty-four point four milligrams. Like. All right, let's look at the rest of the question here. You have on, a, on hand a vial that reads 40 milligrams per ml. How many will you give? How many mLs are you going to give? How do we take this and get it into an ml number to give? There you go. I'm going to plug it into my desire. It's foolproof. It's army proof. What you got, Melissa? Okay. So when I was showing you that 0.4 in the syringe, I shouldn't have been doing that early. I was looking, we were talking about the dosage, not the amount of mLs we draw up. Yeah. Now we can look at that syringe part, and it's 0.61. Okay. okay? Or 0.6. So I have one mL, and then I got 1.1, and over here is 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. I'm going to draw my plunger up to right there. A little over half, a C, half an mL. Now, is this an acceptable dose? How do you know? It, it is, yes. Because you can draw up half a cc or a little over that in a syringe. And this question is kind of poorly written for this, this quiz or this worksheet because it's really asking you, is the amount of ML is going to be acceptable to inject? If the dose ended up being for this drug, uh, I'm going to say 240, you would be putting like 10 mLs in a syringe. That's way too much to inject into a muscle. You're only injecting up to three. And that's what this question is asking. So there's another way it's going to ask you, is this dose acceptable? Or if you look at number four, it's going to ask you, is this safe for a 24-hour range? I'm going to let you try to work that out together before you come back and see me. This is not due, but I want you to look at it and attempt it if you get bored or you get extra time with your other stuff. We will continue just like we are now with these problems when we come back. All right, but you should have all the tools you need to do this problem. And I'm going to post this recording online so you can go back and look at it and review it. Okay. Not so scary, right? The band-aid has been ripped off. <laughs>